Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the weekly contest 239. Uh, I scroll down. Minimum adjacent swaps to reach the cave's smallest number. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. I thought this problem was harder than Q4, but not everyone thinks so. Not everyone agrees because, you know, Lucifer did in three minutes. But, so I don't know. But I think I was way close. I think I was just missing one insight. Uh, and that insight took a while, but still. Um, yeah, so the idea here is, okay, uh, you know, this wonderful number, I don't know why, why they call it, they added the term wonderful, but it doesn't uh, mean anything, it just means that is the, the cave uh, next permutation of this number, uh, is essentially what it does, and taking a note at the, the, the constraint that k is equal to a thousand, you can just do it k times to kind of get get the 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 cave wonderful number and this is roughly speaking o of k or something like that um so yeah <clears throat> or o of n times k or something like, mm, is it even i don't remember but but i knew that this was fast enough even if it's n times k it's you know n square or a thousand square right so basically this is what i did i actually have this code written i i have it somewhere um in my library so I, I copy and pasted it. But after that, I was stuck, to be honest. Uh, like I said, I did a next permutation, and then now I numps2 has the right answer. Um, so then I went to do Q4, and I come back to it later. And you can watch me solve it live during the contest in the links below uh, or after this video. And yeah, and then after that, I just did greedy. I, I was basically thinking about insertion sort um, in a greedy way. Um, by And... In the worst case, this is going to be n square, but keeping in mind that n is only a thousand, I was like, oh yeah, th this should be fast enough. So basically, yeah, I, I I I pop off the beginning of the array every time, and then if if um and then I on the second array, I try to swap it for it. Um, I think I actually technically in definition, I, I'm I confuse nums and num two because I think it should be the other way around to to have the right answer. But in this problem, it's symmetric, so it didn't matter. But technically, I think I swapped these things, so the code is a little bit off. But basically, I take the second away, uh, and then I, I do a in effectively an insertion sort of, okay, find the next element in which this is this match the current element, and then move it forward. Uh, and that's basically what I do here. I just bubble, bubble sort it to the beginning, and then I count the number of counts. And that's pretty much it. Um... Yeah. So yeah, um, the prerequisite for this problem, for me anyway, is going to be knowing this next permutation. Um, I would recommend Googling next permutation because I think this is a lead code problem as well. And if you don't know this part, it's going to be really hard, to be honest. There's no way around it. Um, unless there's an easier solution that I missed, but that's the way that I think about it right now. Um, and then here is just understanding bubble sort and a little bit of greedy and maybe YOLO a little bit because I wasn't that confident about it to be honest but but yeah and this part is going to be n square um, you can ma technically n square but it can actually be that n square um, I say that because um, because k is only a thousand so the the edit distance it cannot be that far away. the swap distance cannot be that far away because it only at most if you move the thousand digits or um, if you um, do the next permutation a thousand times, only like, I don't know, like the last six or seven digits, or maybe, I don't know, maybe not even. What's what, 5 factorial is what, 120? So, se yeah, six or seven um, digits at the end. So this is only going to do, like, if you really want to be really tight about constraints, this will only do like seven square times or something like that, roughly speaking. Seven square plus n, say. So, but... But in terms of uh, thinking about the absolute worst case, it's going to be n squared, say, just for uh, completion's sake. And that's pretty much the idea. Um, I use linear extra space to kind of make copies of arrays. And I put them in a deck because I was too... Um, I, I worried a little bit too much about um, getting my indexes messed up and, and off by once and stuff like that. I need to be better about it because this is going to cost me some time in the future because it is slower, strictly speaking, than using uh, for loops and indexing but and popping because, you know, these costs. 
little bit extra uh, in locality and everything. There's a lot of nuances. But, you know, um, for here, I optimize it for contest time. So, yeah, uh, that's all I have for this problem. Uh, let me know what you think. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and you could just make it small so you could kind of get it in one screen. Uh, and you can watch me solve it live during the contest next. Wasn't sure about that one to be honest. Off by once. Oh, what? That sounds hard. That's good. Okay. And now it's minimum of swaps. How do I do? Minimum of swaps.
last digits are useless, so it only changes <coughs> and moves. Let's go ahead. Okay, now I have to go back to this one. Which 37 people have gotten, but... Wow, people have finished already. Well done, but... I don't know how to do this one, necessarily. This is just bubble sword, right? Yeah, okay. That's that makes sense actually. Uh okay. Do I need to do that? No. Hmm. <coughs> Let's just do it down by Larry.
You should do a numps too, that's why all this is a little bit confusing. Come on, okay, cool. Uh, okay, I mean, that was still harder than I... Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Hope you stay good, stay healthy, stay well. Uh, and yeah, take care of yourself. And yep, stay good and to good mental health. See you next time. Bye-bye.